we reached gaurikund after a 4 hours bus journey from rudraprayag this was the bus stop of gaurikund gaurikund is located about 2000 meters above the sea level the place was extremely cold even during summer season winter is intolerable and nobody stays here in gaurikund during winter season this was a river mandakini which was flowing with a roaring noise the himalayan plants were looking very different at this altitude the plants were looking deep green and the forest was thick and dense we stayed in a room having four beds and an attached toilet the room was freezing in extreme cold from the room itself we were able to see the wild mountains and river mandakini This was the famous hot spring of Gaurikund where people take bath before going to Kedarnath we also took bath here in this sacred place i took bath here in this open place whereas mom and bobby took bath on the other side of the wall meant for ladies This was the famous Gauri temple of Gaurikund. You can see the huge bell hanging at the entrance of the Gauri temple. This is the main structure of Gauri Mai temple. The temple is very ancient and famous. Gauri temple Gauri temple We had a cool darshan of Ma Gauri and Ganapati in this temple This was a small temple of Uma Maheshwar Mahadev in front of Gauri Mai temple After having darshan we went through this narrow passage to explore the Kedarnath route This was the place where people were starting their journey to Kedarnath as you can see This place is full of ponies. Plenty of ponies and palkis were available here to carry people to Kedarnath. People can pay money and hire the services as per their need. This was the route going towards Kedarnath and this was River Mandakini. It was already evening. We came back to our hotel to prepare for our next day's trip. It was a beautiful place. with enchanting sceneries of springs forests and mountains it was already evening we came back to our hotel to prepare for our next day's trip <laughs>